Inside these bound volumes of the Afro newspaper is a treasure of pictures and stories documenting lives and history. For years, it's been the paper that blacks could trust to get news and information about the world and issues affecting their lives. Former slave John H. Murphy published the first issue of the Baltimore Afro-American newspaper in 1892. From that point on, uh, he and his uh, children, they worked this paper into becoming a reliable, consistent uh, reflection of issues uh, that were important to the black community. Jake Oliver is his great-grandson and the publisher and CEO of the Afro, a position he's held since 1986. He says his grandfather took a huge risk in starting the paper at that time. A large percentage of the black community still could not read because we really hadn't been out of enslavement uh, more than 40, 50 years. But as the black population migrated to urban areas, the audience evolved, becoming more sophisticated. We would have reporters uh, travel through these little cities the first two decades uh, to uh, get the news, uh, to spend some time with the local pastors, uh, to share the gossip. During the first two decades, um, you could see the paper developing a political voice that was beginning to galvanize this community to recognize its potential power. Brown versus Board of Education was one of the most popular editions. That edition just, not only was it just startling because it was so different, finally we get rid of Jim Crow on the educational level, uh, but it also reflected the ultimate, the immediate resistance. For 150 years, the Afro's been the place where many could go to read about relatives and friends doing well in the world. Here's an article about my dad becoming an ensign in the Navy. The paper now in its 125th year is still going strong. Lisa Robinson, WBAL, TV 11 News. A little Lisa family connection to that newspaper. Again, the Afro is published every day online. The physical paper comes out once a week. And Lisa says it's a great research tool for anyone looking for letters, pictures, and articles. You can access the archives online. Nice picture.